A donation of used up fire hoses is making one valley school district a little safer. Channel 5 Cecilia Gutierrez explains. When you see a fire hose like this one, you might think, well, it's used to fight a fire, but one valley school district is using it to protect their students. It's something that's always on Edgar Sandoval's mind school safety. Especially nowadays, you know, anything could happen. You know, me being a veteran as well. You know, makes me think, you know, my son's safety, is he safe? Oh, the kids are safe. Sandoval's son is a fifth grader at Sherryland ISD and says a recent donation of used fire hoses gives him some peace of mind when it comes to school security. And now it makes me more at ease as well, you know, but, you know, more training the better. That donation comes from the Active Shooter Awareness Program ran by the Hidalgo County Sheriff's Office. At least 99% of our staff in our district is fully trained on uh, active shooter response and uh, just safety in general. Assistant Superintendent for Human Resources and Student Services, Carolyn Mendiola, says student safety is their number one priority. We've been working closely with uh, Deputy Garcia and a, a lot of other practical techniques that he has shared with us and shared with our entire staff. One of those techniques is using recycled fire hose to stop an intruder from coming into a classroom. Lead instructor at the Hidalgo County Sheriff's Academy, Senior Deputy Rick Garcia, says he got the idea to use old fire hose to barricade a classroom door from up north. There's a lot of things that don't require a lot of money out there, things that can be repurposed, and one of those things is fire hoses. That's when he called the McAllen Fire Department for help. They gave us uh, several hundred feet of those hoses. The idea behind the hose is to cut it into six-inch pieces and slide it over the arm of the door. Is going to keep a door from opening all the way. Slide it over the top, okay? And once that's slid over the top, what it does is it prevents the door from opening. Senior Deputy Garcia says the main objective for the fire hose is to keep the people inside the classroom safe and give first responders enough time to get the situation under control. And Senior Deputy Garcia says this is just one of the many low tech, low cost solutions with the ultimate goal of safety. In Edinburgh, Cecilia Gutierrez, Channel 5 News, at 6. When you think of a fire hose, you usually think of a really thick material. This is a Channel 5 News Extra. We wanted to know just how these pieces of fire hose are cut. Turns out, they all need to be cut by hand. Deputy Chief Gerald Williamson with the McAllen Fire Department explains how fire hoses are extremely thick. So the contemporary fire hose is um, either a synthetic or a natural woven fiber. Uh, it has two outside jackets and it has a rubber lining. That rubber lining doesn't allow for a buzz saw to be used to cut the hose because it heats up too quickly. 150 feet of fire hose can secure up to 175 classroom doors.